Welcome back everybody. This is Sam from Tyke Schooling and today we are talking about the laryngeal ligaments and the laryngeal folds. It's a very easy topic and we are covering up all the laryngeal ligaments and folds and showing you in this 3D model where they are actually located. So uh, the larynx contains numerous ligaments and folds. The ligaments actually support the cartilaginous skeleton of your complete larynx. So you have to remember that there are two types of, uh, first we'll talk about ligaments, membranes and ligaments and then we'll be talking about the folds. So first you have to understand that there are two types of ligaments, that is the extrinsic ligaments and the intrinsic ligaments. So the extrinsic ligaments act to attach the components of larynx to the external structure such as your hyoid bone and the cricoid cartilages which is located down below there. And the intrinsic ligament are responsible for holding the cartilages of the larynx together as a one unit internally. We'll be going to see each ligament in this 3D model. First, let's talk about the extrinsic ligament. The first extrinsic ligament is the thyrohyoid ligament. So you have to understand uh, up there, exactly as my mouse is moving, uh, exactly up there, there is a hyoid bone. So to the hyoid bone, uh, this ligament, which is also called as the thyrohyoid ligament, and uh, it's also called, this is the median thyrohyoid ligament, ligament and this on the side you will find the lateral thyrohyoid ligament so it spans between your superior aspect of the thyroid cartilage exactly superior to the thyroid cartilage and the hyoid bone it is pierced laterally by this nerve that passes through this this structure which is called the superior laryngeal vessels and the internal laryngeal nerve which is the branch of superior laryngeal nerve and the median thyroid ligament which is anterior medial thickening of the membrane on the lateral side this is the lateral thyrohyoid ligament after that we have another ligament which is called the hyoepiglottic ligament which is basically means it's attached to hyoid bone and epiglottis so this ligament exactly in front of your this is epiglottis this is called the hyoepiglottic ligament because in front of it there is hyoid bone if i add up the hyoid bone there will be hyoid bone exactly in front of it and proceed to the hyoid bone attached is it attached and it is also attached in front of your epiglottis that's why it's called hyoepiglottic ligament then we have the cricotracheal ligament exactly down there below the cricoid cartilage there is a cricotracheal ligament which means it attaches between the cricoid cartilage and the trachea then we have the median cricothyroid ligament this is called the median this one in the middle this is median cricothyroid ligament which is anterior medial thickening of your cricothyroid ligament connecting the thyroid and the cricoid cartilage then we have another ligament which is called the crico which is now we these these are all the extrinsic uh, ligaments of the larynx now we have uh, two other ligaments that are the intrinsic uh, ligament of your larynx that is your cricothyroid ligament and your quadrangular membrane so the first cricothyroid ligament which is between the crico cricoid and the thyroid ligament uh, thyroid membrane which originates from the cricoid cartilage and extends superiorly where it terminates within a free which is unattached upper margin which forms the vocal ligaments it is additionally attached anteriorly to your thyroid cartilage and posteriorly to your arytenoid cartilage if you move forward we can see it this is how it looks like we have another membrane which is called the quadrangular membrane which actually spans between the anterior lateral arytenoid cartilage and the lateral aspect of your epiglottis right exactly posterior down there you can have a good view of it it is a free upper margin and a lower margin, so the lower margin is thickened to become a vestibular ligament.
Now we move on and uh, talk about the laryngeal folds. After we talk about the laryngeal folds, we will be solving and talking about the clinical scenario. So there are two important soft tissue or folds located within the larynx. So that's the vestibular fold and the vocal fold. They both play a crucial role in protection of the airway, breathing and phonation. So the better way to see those two, these two folds, that is the vocal fold and your vestibular fold, I have to remove few structures from the larynx so you can see it. So the structure which I'm going to remove and I want you to be stay with me with this diagram so you can understand what I'm doing. So first we're going to remove this thyroid cartilage so you can see it. We remove the thyroid cartilage. I'm again going to remove the median thyroid ligament, thyroid ligament, and this is it. So we are we are we came with this picture. We remove the thyroid uh, thyroid cartilage and median thyroid ligament. Now you can see in this diagram we want to see the vocal folds. So with with this diagram you can see the vocal folds very clearly. So we see the vocal folds. This is down below. You can see it exactly down there. These are your vocal folds. So above here we got another fold that is your vestibular fold. So there is a space between a vestibular fold and the vocal fold just down there. So the vocal folds which are down here actually are true vocal cords and are the important of two sets because they are present on both sides which are under the control of muscles of phonation. They are abducted, adducted, relaxed and tends to control the pitch of the sounds created. And uh, with this we also have the vocal ligaments down there. So you can see vocal cold, below the vocal cold we have the vocal ligaments which lie the free, uh, free upper edge of your cricothyroid ligament. So if you want to see vocal cords in another picture, uh, first let me talk about the vestibular fold, then I can show you another picture so we can see a cutaway through uh, this uh, vocal, vocal and vestibular fold. So the vestibular fold which is on the superior side, uh, is, which is a false vocal cords, uh, they consist of vestibular ligament exactly up there, this is your vestibular ligament and covered by a mucous membrane uh, are pink in color, they are fixed folds which act to provide protection to the larynx. If, if what I do, if I take a cross section between these two folds, I come across this picture you can see in, in, in this diagram. So we got the epiglottis in front, we got uh, on the sides if you see uh, through the rima glottis on the side you can see you see the vocal cords that are more medial compared to the vestibular folds that are on the sides. So if you see it, this diagram it comes like a V shape, so vestibular folds are a little bit to the lateral, and the uh, what do you call the uh, the vestibular folds are on the lateral side, bit lateral, and the uh, vocal uh, and the vocal folds are a bit medial. So exactly with this uh, with this picture, you can see vestibular folds on the sides and the vocal folds on the medial side. There's an important clinical relevance attached uh, attached to this lecture that is the cricothyroidotomy, uh, which is an emergency procedure to provide a temporary airway. It is typically used in situation where there is an obstruction at or above the larynx. Example: uh, some foreign body enters uh, into your uh, larynx, and uh, you cannot get it out of it. So, an intubation has been unsuccessful. So, to perform the technique, the thyroid cartilage is uh, palpated in the neck, uh, below which there is a depression presented, which is the cricothyroid ligament. A small incision is made in the midline of this ligament and an endotracheal tube is inserted to secure the area. So if somebody is asking you where you insert the endotracheal tube through F, if we have such emergency, your answer would be in the midline of your cricothyroid ligament. So this is it, pretty uh, simple and small lecture on the vocal ligaments, uh, laryngeal ligaments and folds. See you another time and keep visiting Thai schooling.